lecture I'm going to discuss what how to connect SQL Server Microsoft SQL Server database with QL Exchange. So here this is the QL Exchange desktop. So first I'm going to create the new app. So this app about SQL Server and to connect it with QL. So you can give any meaningful name. Now let's click on this create and click on this open. So this is now opening the app and there you can see data loader editor and here add data files from the other source. So if I click there then you can get the different source. There you can get uh, the data. Okay, different source. From there you can get the data. So list of source are available. And there I'm going to select Microsoft SQL Server. So Microsoft SQL Server. Now you need to give this all detail. Okay. So here I'm going to disconnect and connecting so we can connect with the windows authentication and here you can see a list of uh, here data so database and tables are present there or we can connect with the uh, here sql server authentication so for this one we need to give the password this also connected so since here I'm using Microsoft SQL Server so there uh, is the port is now 1434 so server name let's give local host or if you want then you can give the IP address or uh, PC name and this place here port so port I am leaving default 1433 and database let's give the name Adam and if I scroll down here you can see a uh, username you can give if you want then you can give or leave it so I'm going to give and here password and after giving this all let's click on this test connection so definitely here or uh, that will find the error on the port because currently I'm using Microsoft SQL Server 2022 and there okay so there is the port 1434 but in your case it can be 1433 so given 1434 now let's click on test connection this time it's connected then after click on this create so now this is uh, creating the new connection Microsoft SQL Server now after that here you can see you can use Adam master this all so that present inside here system database are there and that also come inside collection so I am going to use then after here you can use DBO, Escort, whatever you want and here if you want then you can select single tables and there data is loading dpt dname log selecting uh, another column or table so this has uh, 3 and this has 8 rows and EMP table this number of records are available after that metadata metadata that or uh, display columns names there and here you can see so filter option here filter fields you can fill to the filter this place okay and after giving this let's click on this next clicking next and this now adding the data inside the KLX sense 
so here let's click on got it so two or table that i added there amp and dpt if i double click then you can see only amp table records and here you can see add field if you want then calculated field you can create here add calculated field i will discuss this all later videos and this all now thereafter add data if you want then you can add the data from the different source again if you want then you can use sql server once again and there you can see data manager data loader and here qlik microsoft qlik okay so this is how we can connect microsoft sql server with qlik sense so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see next week thank you